Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to teach you smart art and morph transitions. These are the most effective tools for any presentations that you are going to present in your professional or in your academic life. So let me just first change the background for the Microsoft PowerPoint by just going to the format background and changing to a different color. I normally tend to prefer some dark colors for the background so that you can easily see. But in this particular case, we are just going to go and go to the insert menu and click on the smart art. So smart art are tools to define and to present your work in a more beautiful way using infographics. So these are preset and these are already made infographics that you can just use and you can type in your text inside and you can use them for your own presentations. So they have different options like list, process, cycle, hierarchy, relationships, metrics and pyramids. You can see that these are different designs available so you can use anything that you want. I'm just using this one as a reference and later I will choose another one for some things that I want to show the morph animation for. So now this is just simple text. You can edit the sample text by your own self. As soon as you write something, the text becomes smaller as soon as you add more words inside. So right now I'm just adding small bullet points. As you can see, I'm just adding small sample text. And remember, if you press enter, you will have another bullet point in that particular diagram. So. I'm just copying the text to save some time but it works. It looks like it didn't work so I'm just going to manually type simple sample text inside so that I, I can see what exactly it looks like. So I'm just writing sample text inside and as you can see I will add a sample text again. So now if you want to add another bar or another block or uh, another category in this one so you can just press enter inside. So let's uh, just, just remove this word and just simply press the backspace and you can go back to another diagram. So now I'm going to press enter and then backspace you will have another diagram. So that's how you make uh, another addition of block in a particular or existing infographics. Here you can change the colors. You can use any colors that you want. So let's just change the background. I just want to keep it white so that it can be more easier and more visible for you guys. So now this is the sample infographic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a set of infographics and then I will show you how will the morph transition work on these infographics. Morph transition saves a lot of time. You will know what it means. These available presets are different ways in which you can show your work. Some, For example, some in some cases you want your infographic to be a bit more 3D than rather than 2D. So now let's just copy this one and I will simply click on this one, go to Smart Art Design, click on this bar and then go to More Layouts. And in more layouts, I'm going to choose a different category in which I will show you how does or how do a different category looks like. One more thing, once you have written one smart art, you can just simply change to another smart art by just clicking another layout. So right now I change this layout and as you can see over here, this is another layout for the diagram that I want to show you. Similarly, I'm going to repeat the same process and I'm going to add two more slides for different infographics. But before that, let's change the color. Here we go. So now I've added one and two more slides so that with a different orientation and different design so that you can see exactly how it means. So right now you can see that text is going outside the box. One way is to extend the width, another way is to reduce the text size. So what you can do is you can just simply select the whole shape instead of selecting one rectangle. When you select the whole shape, you can simply reduce the text size. To reduce the text size, you must select the whole uh, figure instead of choosing one single block. So right now in this case, I just selected this one so I have to change that completely individually. So now once these are done, now how we are going to apply transitions? So just select them all by pressing Ctrl plus A. So once you press Ctrl plus A, you will select all the diagrams and then we are going to work on the transition. So now let's go to transition first. So now when you go to transitions, one click on the morph and everything is done for you. So there are different options for morph available. You can apply on words, you can apply on objects, and you can also apply on alphabets. So now, see it how it works. So now once you click on the morph transitions, now this is how it works. It changes the previous images, previous objects into the next one using a transition. And it looks like that the previous one is emerging from the previous image and then going to the next one. It's just like a transformation and more smooth animation in comparison to the fade animation and the push animation in the Microsoft PowerPoint. Morph transitions are the best way to make your presentations and your work more presentable. I will also show you some different examples in which you can use morph transition to make your work more effective and more powerful. You can apply this technique 
for different things. For example, if you want to show a transition from one object to another, if you want to show a transition from one shape to another, how can you do that with shapes? I will show you in this in the next segment which is going to come right now. So for that, what are you going to do with that? I'm just going to add a simple enter, enter a next slide and then I will add another slide. So let's just remove this uh, uh, layout and then go to insert section, go to shapes and then select a random shape that you want. For example, I want a triangle. So remember, this is the most important step for the morph transition, which I'm going to show you when you're using different shapes and you want them to transition. So right now we have a triangle and we have a circle. Let's just change the color so that you can see the difference more properly. Let's just change the color for this triangle and make it a little bit different because this is more default color which I don't normally like. So for that now, let's see, we select them all, select morph transitions and then let's see what happens. Now you can see that triangle changes to the circle just not too smoothly that should. Rather it just goes like this and it fades a little bit. So how can you make a triangle convert into a circle using a simple way? So I'm going to show you that how you can do that in a simple way. Select the triangle, go to select menu, select selection pane. Now the trick is that you need to have two exclamation marks in the start like this and then type a object name, just say any object name XYZ or OBG. For this case I just tried OBG. Now select again, double click here and have the same name for the same object. So this is how you do. So just paste the name that you have for the previous file and similar name for this one with two exclamation mark in the start. Now let's see what happens. This triangle is going to transform into a circle. And this is how beautifully you can present the animation in Microsoft PowerPoint using morph animation and the technique that I showed you just right now. Now let's repeat the same step for other. Now I'm just going to copy the same shape and then I'm going to change the shape just like this. So let's see what I do. I'm going to copy the same slide again and then I will select this shape, go to shape format, edit shape, change shape and then I will select another random shape just to see how it works. And then I will just change color to keep a difference between all the shapes so that they look a bit different. Now I'm going to go repeat the same step and I'll do all that steps again. Remember, if I use the same object and just change the shape, change the shape, the name of the object will remain the same. So that's why I just copied the shape and then just edited the shape to make it easier for me. Now let's go to the slide and see what we can do. Now select animation pane. You can see that all the object names are same. So that means it made it easier for us. Now see how the morph animation works. I hope you guys like this video and understand how you can use morph animation and think about different ways how you can use this animation way into your presentation and make your work more effective and more presentable. I hope you guys like this video. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.